Hey everyone, Amber from Vault here. Welcome back to more Airport CEO. Let's go ahead and see if I can finally figure out how to play this. It's taken me a while, but I promise sim games usually do take a while. It takes you a little bit to get used to them, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. So let's go ahead and jump back into it, and I'll see you guys back in just a sec. Okay, ladies and gents, I have figured out quite a bit <laughs> of this game since last I was on, and some things I haven't figured out. So we're still working on it. Um, one of the issues I had is, of course, I had to figure out how to get everyone there. Um, I couldn't figure out how to get everyone out of the terminal area, though. They kept getting stuck up here. So then I realized that that's what the exit is for, because I'm an idiot and didn't figure that out. So that's what the exit is for. So now I have a separate exit, a separate entrance, and then this is the entrance for them to just be able to go and board. So we should be good. I think. I think. I think we should be good. Um, honestly, we're gonna see how this goes. I had some people getting stuck during the boarding procedure last time. So let's see if people can actually board. It looks like they can. Okay. I think I might have managed to actually make an airport. <laughs> I think I finally managed to make the airport. Okay. Wow. Wow. That took so much longer than it should have for me to figure out. Now, I, I don't think that normally people would would struggle this much with, with figuring this out, honestly. Um, I think it's because I just don't read directions very well. <laughs> and also, sometimes an employee can't find a staff room. What? Why do I even have an employee... You should be able to find a staff room. There are so many staff rooms for you. Okay, so here's the thing. So here's my zone, and now I have like f three, four staff rooms. So I have the one for the contractors. I have the one for anyone who's not a contractor can use this one. This one is for anyone who has the secure zone, and then this one is for my administrators only. So there are so many staff rooms now. No one can argue with me that there aren't multiple staff rooms. There's also multiple bathrooms. I have bathrooms in all of the different areas. Like there is so much space open for all of these people. So shouldn't be any serious problems right now um oh gosh i forgot to get those because i was too busy yakking okay this is what i want to do i want to go ahead and open that to both okay it doesn't have a boarding deck which is fine now i can't link these i'm assuming no okay so I can't link them to more than one so i'm gonna have to figure out if i want to include any more of them i will have to figure out where in the hell to put them in the terminal and as of right now i have nowhere to put them so we're gonna go ahead and switch that back turn that off i don't have anywhere to put them so far all right which is fine it's fine <laughs> i didn't leave a lot of room to build my terminal out anymore but that's okay because right now i am just trying to figure out my head from a hole in the ground it has been so much harder than I thought it would be to just get all this going and then so many of the planes have been late while I was trying to like do other stuff and it has just been a pain so I think we're finally getting what we need let's see an employee can't find a staff room but there's no employee there so um I think I think we're actually fine. I think they're just trying to go to the wrong staff room then. Okay. So every once in a while I'll still get stuff like that, but I don't know if I'm doing good or not, but I do know that we probably don't need so many contractors on anymore because we just don't, we don't have that many things going on. So let's dismiss 89 of them. So we're not paying all that money and then pull this back up. Okay, so regional airport, complete R&D project, emergency response units. So now we need to start doing some stuff with emergency response units. Honestly though, I am just so, I'm so happy right now that we actually figured some things out and got some things done. I think that this definitely could be like such a fun game to play once you figure out the basics and you actually figure them out. It's taken me so long. Okay, you've been selected by the Department of Infrastructure. Uh, ba -ba -da. So we won a million dollars. Woo! 
<laughs> I don't know why I want a million dollars. I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need a high security rating. That's fine. Everybody, just calm down. <laughs> I am I am doing the best I can right now. Okay, so I went ahead and just researched something random last time. And now we can go ahead and research what was it? Emergency response. So where is emergency response units? There we go. We'll start the project and we will stick both of our administrators on it. But we're going to need... Oh, why did I close that? Because we're going to need more staff. All right. So there we go. Things are coming up, Amber, finally. All right. Let's go ahead and hire these two. I don't want to hire you. You're just too expensive and you two are losers um we'll also hire you i guess and then let's look at our own staff let's say if i were to train you let's see i could get you up quite a bit there we go let's look at everybody let's train you train you for sure oh that's the max you can be trained well how sad okay um, so we have plenty of everyone else. So let's go to operations and put our third person on there. Wait, how many administrators do I have? I have five apparently. I had no idea I had five, but I guess I had five. <laughs> okay, so all five are now on that. So we will complete that. We should be good. I'm finally figuring out how to do this. It honestly has been such a painful process, but that's okay. I feel like I, I feel like it took a while, but it could have been so much worse. I mean, I figured out how to color things, and I finally figured out how the exits and entrances work, and I've built so many employee areas that are completely unnecessary. But that's okay. I don't want to be a CEO. I hate that idea. I just want to, I don't know, I just want to like, be a person who, I don't know, spends maybe a little less time um, <laughs> telling people what to do with their lives. I don't know. <laughs> you have a staff room that is literally open to you, so I will help you with nothing. <laughs> I just, I'm so sick of them saying they can't find staff rooms when there are staff rooms that are open. All right. Person can't leave secured zone. You are okay. Okay. So one of the problems is I built this really nice staff room over here, and apparently everyone wants into it. Um, I thought I said no to contractors, but apparently I didn't. Um, security officer. Let's just say um, only certain people can go there. Let's just do that. Okay. Let's see if that helps. Now you're saying that it's not accessible. That you can't even go there. Uh, you're not supposed to be here, janitor. I'm so confused. I <laughs> just... I honestly am so over all of this. Because our employees should all be be able to go through security like you don't need anything special to go through security I don't know I don't know it is I will be honest it is like weird and frustrating <laughs> okay there we go so we built a queue um, I definitely wish I had more room now, what are you upset about? You have access to all those areas. You're an administrator. I don't know what's going on. This doesn't have any more access than where your office right now does. So, don't know what you want from me. <laughs> don't know what you want from me. Okay. I have given people, like, so much space to do whatever they want and they're just whining at me constantly okay that's all right that's all right so we've got security zone two wait why is this secure zone one 
Oh wait. Maybe I'm on crack. I... What? These all should be part of the same secure zone. That makes no sense. Oh, okay. Now it says secure zone one. I have no idea. Either way, I think it worked. <laughs> so we'll do something there. All right, the flight tracker. Let's throw some more flights in here. I'm definitely learning. You really have to space them out. One of the issues with the flights that I had last time is that I had put them so close together that they were actually um, overlapping one another in that they weren't taking off on time, which sounds like obvious. You would think, well, duh, of course they aren't taking off on time. It's, it's a flight. Amber. <laughs> Duh. But in my head, I was like, oh, they'll be fine. No, they were fine. So it did take me a while to kind of like figure that part out. Now, I, I'm really starting to see that maybe we should expand the terminal. Um, Let's go ahead and expand it. And when we expand it, what we can do is... You know what? Actually, don't take out those bowls. I changed my mind. I want them. Okay, I accidentally deleted them anyway, but that's fine, that's fine. We can put them back in. <laughs> okay, so what I actually want to do is I want to put a door here. I'm going to put a door here. And then I also want to make this secure before it yells at me. Okay. We'll get rid of those. You know what, actually, now that I'm looking at it, let's just get rid of the walls. Whatever. Whatever. I was going to try to make it a separate room, but now that I'm looking at it and realizing it's probably just easier if we just take everything off. Whatever. It's fine with me. It's fine with me. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Now let's add some more of the desks. Because we can. So we can add few more desks and that would be a good idea. Now they go this way, right? Yeah, okay. So one, two, three. And this way I can actually space them out a little bit. I kind of like that. And then they'll still go out the same door and everything. We're not going to have any shops for a while, I don't think. I just don't see that really being Thing we're gonna be able to have it's been quite a while and it's still not available to us so I'm not sure about that let's go ahead and make sure that these are all those two walls are not linking up together so that is a concern let's make sure we go ahead and link that get some chairs in here all right and then this will need to connect to these so at this point, we can go ahead and connect all of the remaining ones, which is exactly what we needed. That way we can start getting more commercial flights. And we can hopefully increase what we've got going on here. So we've got a fair amount of money. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this area because we might as well go ahead and build more runways. I mean, that would make sense to me. And before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just throw out, let's see, wait, what? Structural location? Oh, this is where I have to remember that I have this big, giant, stupid thing here, the fence. And I have to get the fence out. Okay. The fence has definitely become much easier to handle in this game, but it's still kind of complicated to deal with. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, let's actually keep that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of that, and then that will be very helpful. Now let's grab some more runways. We're definitely going to need more runways. It's a small runway. We'll need about the same spacing. I, it's hard for me to actually determine what my spacing is there, but we can just kind of throw some down. Okay, because we can always move them later. And then, do do do, do do do. Yeah, those look pretty good. 
Okay, and then that is where our taxiway will have to come from. And now suddenly the animals are like, yay! We can access over there again! <laughs> Oh, which is awful. We don't want any more of your animals. Okay, so in order to get rid of our animals, we have to place more fence, which, yay, fence. <laughs> and this time, I'm just going to go ahead and fence a whole bunch of it. Fence everything I got, because I might as well. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and just let everything be built, and then we should be okay. Let's go ahead and repair these. Having two more runways will be a big deal for us. Because we'll actually be able to open up to more, more opportunities. Okay, so because we did that, we're going to have to... Oop, operations. We're going to have to get more contractors. So bring in the contractors. I need a whole mess of them. Just bring me the contractors. I may need to build another parking lot at some point. I am seeing that our parking lot is pretty full. Let's see, four available. Okay. So we don't have a ton left here. So let's go ahead and let's throw up another, oh, what is this? Airside shuttle bus to and from remote stands. Oh, got it. Okay. Interesting. There's a lot of options on here and there, there's just so much to like, there's so much to learn <laughs> and to do. And I gotta be honest, I... I just had no idea what I was getting into when I started this. I'm a little surprised you can't do this. The crosswalk's are already existing, but I would think that that would be a good thing. Hmm. But it really seems like it's giving me a lot of position is not valid. Interesting. I can definitely build more road, it's just, I don't know, I didn't expect to have to build more road for this, more public road, but I guess I do. So, I can't connect it to that road though? How is connection not possible? It seems very possible to me. I don't understand why it's not possible. I don't quite understand why I would need to have these outlots, so as to speak. Oh, I know why. It's because the sidewalk is there. I'm an idiot. Pause. Don't build any of this. <laughs> it's because of the sidewalk. Ah. So these are the things that I, I'm still struggling with. There's a sidewalk in the way and I can't figure out why I can't build there. That kind of stuff. So yes, there's still so much to learn and I'm still struggling with a lot of it. You definitely have to make sure that you are paying attention to what you're doing because man, the mistakes that I have made throughout this. I need to erase even more of this. Let's go ahead and just do. Okay. Come on down, remove that. It's gonna take them a while though because they've gotta build all these ramps. Okay, and now in the meantime, we're gonna have to do this. I can definitely see how this would be such a freaking like, I, okay, this is gonna be addicting to me. I recently have been addicted to Becastled and I, I just, I see myself completely becoming addicted to this now. <laughs> I love it so much. I love sim games anyway, just because I find them just so much fun to play. And I, I think that they're like 
one of the more fun things you can do just because it gives you a chance to I don't know, kind of like test what you would do or whatever. I think it's fun. I just think it's really fun to have fun and like, I don't know, test how you are as a, as a, you know, person who runs an airport or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's really fun. So I don't know. I like it. I've especially liked this one so far. This has been a lot of fun. Like it's just been, it's just been so much fun. It's a really like easy game to get lost in and it's definitely going to take a while to get used to and I have to admit that I'm like a little I'm a little nervous because it does feel like sometimes like I'm never going to figure some of this stuff out but you will you'll figure it out it just god it takes so much time <laughs> Okay, so are there still bits and pieces left? Is that the problem? Is is there still pieces left? Oh yeah, there is. There's still pieces left. Okay, so we're still waiting for those to be deleted. I'm just going to check. So we're waiting for these two to leave before we can turn them into commercial. Whew. I didn't realize how much of this game I was actually going to record. I didn't know if I was going to like just record an intro and let it go or if this is going to be something that I spent more time like concentrating on or thinking about. I had no idea what to expect, but I have to be honest, I'm super into it right now and it's just it's been so much fun. <laughs> I like don't want to stop playing it, but I also know that it's late and my dog wants to go to bed. <laughs> yes, I said my dog wants to go to bed. He is so, 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 so picky about bedtime. Okay, so let's throw these on. The nice thing about those is it doesn't really matter. Um, I need a COO and a CFO to do that, but we are not making anything an hour. Like, I'm not making any money. I guess that's a good reason to get a COO. Um, let's just dismiss the aircraft that would be coming in here. Come on. Ugh, that sucks. Ooh, ooh. Yes, okay. So now we got commercial flights there. All right, so this is what I want to do. I want to go ahead and hire a CFO and a COO. I think we need some people. Um, mostly because I don't necessarily know what the hell I'm doing. So <laughs> maybe it would be a good idea. Let's go to all. And let's only look at people who actually know what they're doing right now. Okay, Jung Park, Kimberly. Okay, oh, we need to build an emergency response team. We will be there very shortly. Let's see who else we're getting. Oh, nope, nope. Okay. Oh, here we go, executives. That's what we were looking for. Okay, so let's take Let's see. Well, Maya, you are pretty cheap for a procurement director. So we'll take you. Why not? Um, Kimberly is our only option. CIO is going to be Jonathan. And the rest of you, I don't know if I need you yet. Okay. Auto planner enables scheduling flights of offered enables automatic scheduling of offered flights. So we don't have to do that anymore. That is exactly what I needed. Okay. Airport police station. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't want I don't want no airport cops. But I guess we gotta have them, don't we? Okay. Where do I put airport cops? Hmm. I suppose I'm going to need to redo my fencing once again, which is a-okay. We can do some fencing. Let's do this. 
Let's bring our fencing out and over. And then let's delete some fencing. The number one thing I am deleting a lot of is fencing. So definitely I would say in the beginning when you do your fencing, just make it the whole perimeter. It's easier. You don't have to worry about it afterwards. It definitely becomes annoying after a while to have to keep deleting your fencing. But, you know, you deal with it. Okay, fire. Everyone loves firemen. Okay. I do believe that's true, by the way. I don't know anyone who doesn't love firemen. <laughs> For some reason, firemen are just so cool. Okay. Let's do a service road to our... Oop. I accidentally turned the map again, and I hate when I do that because in my brain, if I started it one way, my brain wants it that way forever. Okay, there we go. I, I can't stand when I accidentally do that. Okay. So there we go. We should have the two now. So we'll have the emergency response units. Awesome. Purchase an airport police car. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. We're gonna need some vehicles. Okay, let's do fire truck. We need an ambulance. We're gonna need a police car. Uh, let's see. Sure, let's get something for the ramp agents. And that's what we'll do. Okay. We got everything we need. Should be good. Wow, this got huge fast. <laughs> this got so big fast. Alright. So if aircraft is damaged, you need a hangar. Okay, I've been wondering when we'd have to build a hangar. Let's see. Aircraft hangar. Exactly how does one get into the aircraft hangar though, I'm wondering. Is this maybe good enough? Let's hope. So now I'll have two. I do have one service guy. I don't know if I'll need more than one. Okay. Okay. From the run runway upgrades panel, build a bird strike prevention system. Runway upgrades panel. Pan. Pan. Oh my god. Panel. Okay. Oh, so I need. Oh. Okay. I suppose I should have four of them. I guess. I mean, wouldn't it make sense to have one uh, near each? Okay. Do I need to hire police now? Oh, please tell me I don't have to hire airport police. Okay. Patrols can be assigned to both security officers inside terminals and airport police cars. Okay. So create a security officer patrol route inside a terminal. Oh. Security officer patrol. Okay. Okay, so I can have him go to the bathroom. Interesting. Sure, that's the most crazy one ever. Create an airport police car patrol. Okay, so you would start here. And you're gonna wanna check all these people, I assume. And then come back down and you'll wanna go down and see your friends at the fire department, maybe? I don't know, I assume you'd be friends, but maybe you wouldn't. Firemen are pretty cool. And I've heard rumor that some of them don't like cops. Okay, I wouldn't blame them. And then come back. Cool. All right, 
delete a patrol route by using the X icon. Oh. Oh. Did I just delete it? No, I didn't. The X icon. Oh, right here. <laughs> Remove patrol. Okay. Come on. Okay. Wow, this is going great! <laughs> okay. When you're ready, you can expand the small regional airport and attract some higher rated contracts. Okay. In the meantime, though, I think maybe we were actually supposed to kind of have this. Like, maybe it was a good thing that we had this. So maybe we want to actually set this back up. I don't really know if it matters. But just in case it does, I'm going to set one back up. Like, I don't know if this is a... Okay, a thing I need to do. Alright, so we need to build larger aircraft stands and make sure our runway can handle jets that will soon land. Since our commercial flights use Jet A1 fuel type, we will build that. Okay. Wow. Okay. So we're doing good. Okay, redeploy contractors already did it. Um... Median? Medium? Check-in desk. Wow! Wow. Okay. Looks like we need to do something else in R&D. I feel like we should just let this run for a little while and actually let people pay right now. Because <laughs> I feel like we're kind of... Um, I feel like we might actually be spending too much time right now trying to make everything like upgraded real fast so I think what I'm gonna do is other than you know change the color of everything um, <laughs> I think that what I need to do is just like assign parking structure don't you park here oh no okay I thought you did. Why do we have to assign it? I don't understand why it says assign. Sell vehicle, show in menu. Okay, I guess I'll have to figure out. I'll have to learn more about it later on. Okay. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this alone. I'm going to try to make some money because we are losing money hand over fist. We're not really making money. Um, so I went ahead and I, I did hire some people. So we should be getting some things now. Hopefully we'll actually learn some stuff. But I'm going to let it just run. And if you guys want to see more of it, let me know. Um, I know that this is obviously something... I've already gotten really into, but maybe you guys aren't super into it. You all, excuse me, you all aren't super into it. So go ahead and let me know how you feel about it. Do you want to see more of this? In the end, you know, honestly, I'm going to be getting a lot of play out of this. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be playing it a lot. So if you want to see it, just let me know. But otherwise, if you want to play it, I say go get it. It has been so much fun. I'm actually having way more fun than I thought I would. There are some parts of it that I will be honest are a little janky and I think need to be fixed, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, I've, I've seen that there are things that are still being kind of changed and it sounds like there are still some changes that are, are going on right now with the game. So I think that it'll be better as time goes on. So that's what I'm hoping for. So we're going to go ahead and end that here. Hopefully, Hopefully this will end up being okay. I have no idea if I'm ever going to figure out actually how to play this or not, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> All right. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching me play Airport CEO. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Right there in the middle of your screen there, you should see a list of names. Those are all of my patrons over on Patreon. Please go ahead and say hello to them. Those are their Twitter handles. I would really appreciate it. And if you'd like to learn more about Patreon, look in the lower left-hand corner and there's some information there for you about that. But more importantly, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click on that picture of my big dumb face. Click that 
Click on the bell icon if you'd like to. That'll notify you every time I put up a brand new video because you never know what YouTube's going to show you. And then also on the right side of your screen, there should be two videos. One might be a playlist, might be a featured video. I have no idea. And one is the best for you, according to YouTube, because they have been watching what you have been watching and they have been analyzing you. Just remember that YouTube is watching. We're going to go ahead and get out of here, though. And I want to say thank you so much again to the publisher for giving me a copy of Airport CEO so I could play it for you all. And I am excited if you want to see more, drop a like and let me know if you want to see it. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. I am going to be playing this on my own. Just going to be honest with you and I'll see you guys back in the next one.